all right so welcome to another exciting lecture and today i'm going to focus on the diameters of the fetal skull so my name is kamwendo urodi and okay so basically when we talk of uh, the diameters of the fetal skull we are talking of about six diameters or so and these are the suboccipital pragmatic suboccipital frontal the occipital frontal mental vertical submental pragmatic and submental vertical so i'm going to explain all these six diameters on my fetal skull diagram and the first one that we are going to focus on is the suboccipital pragmatic so the suboccipital pragmatic is about 9.5 centimeters. So this is our suboccipital pragmatic. Basically, this is our suboccipital pragmatic, and this suboccipital pragmatic is from below the occipital protuberance to the center of the anterior fontanelle or the pragma. So this is coming from the occipital protuberance here. To the bregma and this is about 9.5 centimeters and this is the sub occipital pragmatic so basically that is our first uh, diameter on our fetal skull then the second the second uh, diameter is called the sub occipital frontal so the sub occipital frontal is about 10 centimeters from below the occipital protuberance to the center of the frontal suture so you, this second one this uh, the second um, the second the, the second arrow labeled two is called excuse me it's called the sub occipital frontal then our third diameter is called our third diameter is called the occipital frontal so the occipital frontal is about 11.5 centimeters. Occipital frontal is about 11.5 centimeters. And the occipital frontal is from the occipital protuberance to the glabella. So from the occipital protuberance to the glabella. And this is what we call the, uh, the occipital frontal. So that is our third uh, diameter on our fetal skull. The fourth one is called the fourth one is called the mental vertical. So the fourth diameter is called the mental vertical. And as you can see from the diagram, this is the longest uh, diameter of them all. So the uh, the so the occipital frontal the mental vertical rather the mental vertical is about 13.5 to 14 centimeters so it can range from 13.75 to 14 centimeters then that is our mental vertical and this is from uh, the point of the chin so like you can see from the point of the chin and this goes up to the highest point on the vertical slightly nearer to the posterior than to anterior fontanel so it goes to the highest point on the vertex our next so our next uh, diameter is called the submental vertical and this is about 11.5 centimeters from the point where the chin joins the neck to the highest point on the vertex so you have the next one called the submental vertical so from the point where the chin uh, joins the neck to the highest point on the vertex you have the submental vertical submental pragmatic rather this is called the submental pragmatic so it's from the chin uh, a chin to the center of the uh, bregma and it's called the submental bregmatic. Then the last one is called the submental vertical, which is about 11.5 centimeters. So this is the sixth one, 11.5 centimeters, and so from the point where the chin joins the neck to the highest point on the vertex, and it's called the submental bregmatic. 
so presentation of these uh, diameters are that with the occipital with the sub occipital pragmatic the presentation will be a flexed vertex so during delivery you will be able to see a flexed vertex then in sub occipital frontal you'll be able to see a partially deflexed vertex then occipital frontal you'll be able to see a deflexed vertex mental vertical the presentation will be a bro or the bro Submental pragmatic it will be the first presentation and submental vertical it will be face which will not be fully extended. So basically those are the diameters that I've looked at, diameters of the fetal skull and you'll be you can you can see you can see the presentation, the length and everything so that you'll be able to get all the details you'll be able to get all the details um, on the fetal scar so if you have any questions any contributions be sure to leave a comment on my YouTube channel for contributions and if you need me to explain on any topic any medical topic be sure to leave me a comment and I will be able to attend to it. You can as well join my YouTube channel by subscribing to it and also check other videos on my YouTube channel that is Euroad Kamwendo and I will be sure to be posting videos each and every month to explain on certain, certain topics in the medical field. So this is tutorials by Euroad. Share, like, subscribe be sure to subscribe invite more friends and leave comments so till next time have a great day and have a blessed wonderful week see you